Hey guys, and welcome to Brass Baths. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the first thing that you're going to need. All right, so right here I've got all my tools that I'm gonna need in order to give my trumpet a bath. I've got a snake, this is what we call a snake. It's got little materials on the end right here. Bristles. Um, I've got three different types, well actually, four different types of brushes um, that can be used for my mouthpiece, um, for the valves on the trumpet, uh, these parts, uh, just to get smaller areas. The second is valve oil and it says tuning slide goop, but it's really just slide grease. All right. So. Also, another handy tip for all of you is if you don't want to go out and buy your own valve oil every time, you can see the price. It's almost $4. This stuff works just as fine. All right? But you have to make sure you get the right kind. Okay, the all next right. thing you're going to need to do is have a bathtub. Empty. A small plate. And dish soap. That's it. Go ahead and start by turning the water on. You don't want the water to be hot or cold. You want it to be lukewarm. So just in the middle. All right, that feels pretty good. You'll open up and put some of this in the water. Not a lot, just a little. Right? That's all I'm doing. I did two squirts. Two or three squirts, and that's all you need. Alright? A few little bubbles, just a little bit. Alright. So I've taken my trumpet apart. You can see I've divided it up. I've got smaller, smaller things over here, the um, parts that go from the from the top of the valves and the valve casings on the bottom. The valves themselves and the slides. All right, I also took out the little springs found inside these valves. All right, now let's put our trumpet in the water. You see the bell sticks out. We're gonna grab these guys, stick them in the water as well. All right, take these. Mouthpiece. These three, and remember that, look at all that. Look, see that color, that greenish color? And brown, that's not good. That is stuff we're gonna get rid of. Along with these. All right, so everything's in there. All right, as for these, all I have to do is rinse them, just check on any dirt. These, I can look over and check on any dirt. If I see anything, I can get rid of it. These guys right here will not touch the water. They're soft and velvety and they go back on the trumpet. All right. I could actually use some new ones. These are looking a little brown, wouldn't you think? All right. So now that they're in there, the next step, take your Dawn, put some right here on the, on the plate. Now that I've got my soap, we can start. Now that we've waited for our instrument to sit in the water, and uh, the soap has soaked up the dirt and loosened up the particles and uh, we're gonna use our brushes. All right, so the brushes are going to remove the dirt. 
The water's done its job. Let's go. I'll use this brush. So you can see I'm just lightly touching it, brushing it using the, the bristles to just get in the water and, I mean, just sorry, <laughs> get on the metal. All right, I mean, there really shouldn't be much dirt on this. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it down on my towel. I am now going to use the snake. Let's start with one of our slides. Pick a side of the snake. Dip it just a little bit. It really doesn't take a lot. And then put the snake in the hole. <laughs> okay? And back and forth. And look to so see if you can find anything that's just dirty. guy. He's looking pretty clean. It's a good sign. I rinse the snake off in the water and put it back down. I also like to get the outsides. And by that, I just take a little bit, mix it in the water, and just, you know, lather up the outside. Lather up the outside of it. Don't press, you don't need to press hard. The bristles just need to touch. You don't need the metal touching the metal. That creates scratches. Okay, I'm gonna get that in there and we'll, we'll hold in there. See how I'm getting right in there? Right in there. All right, once you're done, 